joining me for tonight's video. It's going to be mostly like rambling about this, that, and the other, you know, some stuff that's been going on, um, some good news, and then I'm going to tell you a very satisfying story, or at least it's satisfying to me personally.
had to because we had to get home and we had other people to see and like, you know, life it doesn't stop for our whims or fears or things like that. So I just had to have my feelings about it cry a lot. over me wanting to learn how to drive and like wanting to actually progress in my journey and take my test. I did not want to do that. Um, but just a couple days ago, I went and took my test and I passed. Even know if I felt relief or anything like that. I don't even know if I felt happy that I did it, but I was just kind of like, okay, see, I'm not gonna let my fear beat me or take over my life. And I wasn't even gonna tell you guys about this because it's such a minor, like, it's a thing everybody does. Most people know how to drive. And I can Telling myself, like, this is not even a big deal. Why would I even tell people? But, and I'm going to admit something to you right now that is not something I really admit to at all. I have a really hard time celebrating good things in my life. For me, when things are upside down, chaotic, not doing well, it almost feels uh, more familiar to me, which is messed up, right? It's kind of weird. But I'm like, it's almost like I trust that more. So having a win can kind of feel like I don't know what to do with that. I don't know how to process it. Um, like a really good example is that a couple of months ago, Four hundred thousand subscribers on this channel, and I had been kind of aware we were getting close, obviously. But then suddenly we were getting there a lot faster than I think I had anticipated, and I wasn't prepared for it because I wanted to do something special. And then having it come so fast, I was like. Like, this is awesome, but like, I'm, I'm not ready. I, I, I didn't know it was gonna be here. I ended up doing really nothing fun or cool to celebrate at all. And I didn't even really make a big deal about it. I didn't. I wish that I had because it is really. felt like, I don't know, like uncomfortable in the happiness part of it. Like I, like I didn't, I, I didn't feel like I was really worth celebrating or that milestone was worth celebrating. I hear it and I'm like, that's so silly. It's worth celebrating, but that's the kind of mindset that I can get into sometimes. And I don't want to be like, so I think I'm going to say right now that if we hit the next big milestone, which would be 500,000, which is wild to think about, and I don't even know if that will happen, but if we somehow did
able to drive will be a big step, a big part of that, you know, to reach my goals. Oh, by the way, this is just um, my sunglasses case. This is my sunglasses inside. I think I showed this in my What's in My Bag video. I just really like the sound. was severely out of my budget. If I'm remembering correctly, we're talking like over $500 Canadian. Like, not gonna happen. No way. Especially because like, that's just more it on the website and every so often I would get a little email that was like oh we're doing 25% off right now in Kate Spade and I was like <gasps> checking is it on sale enough so sometimes it would be on sale for like $300 
can't do it, you know? And you know where this is going, don't you? I feel like you probably do. What happened is, I'm watching the sales, checking the website, literally every day. I knew what size I needed, because I saw it in store. I wanted this dress so bad, I drew a picture of myself in it, in summer of 2020. Here's the picture I drew, it's just rough, it's just like a little sketch, but like, you can see, like, I could picture myself in this dress. I wanted it, but it was kind of like my weight whale, I was like, I'm just gonna wait it out. And then Black Friday comes around, and you know what happened. Out of stock. Every size. Out of stock in every size. Ooh, the pain. The pain. I was like, no. I do this every time. I'll never learn my lesson. I'll never learn it. Because I just kept thinking just like, this is my fault. I have nobody else to blame but me. But I'm heartbroken. That's my dream dress, you know? And all my friends were like, we told you. We told you to just get it. I'll never learn anything. <laughs> I'll never learn that lesson. Um, so, the thing about me, though, is I'm kind of like a dog. Decided to do was on every single secondhand site that I use. So, like eBay, Depop, um, like Marketplace, all of these ones. I created a whole list of saved search terms all around the dress. It's like Kate Spade.